Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. Today I will be doing a reading for the sign of Aries. We are going to take a look at what are you manifesting. So these messages are general. They will not resonate with everyone. Take what does, apply it, leave the rest. Also remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell in order to receive notifications when I post. So let's jump right into your reading. We're going to see what messages Spirit has. So let's get some overall energy. So Spirit, okay, Spirit is ready. I have spiritual union. So what is Aries manifesting? What are they calling in? I have temptation. I have heartache and loss. I have disruption. Okay. And the spirit says one more. So let's get one more, Aries. What are you calling in? Conflict and defeat. Okay. Spirit says you pray for this, you ask for this. That's what spirit says for some some of you. You prayed for this, you asked for this. Um for some of you, this is going to be the shedding away of an old relationship or of a current connection. This disruption, this tower moment that's going to take place is going to be challenging. But after you have healed, after you have released, you have a divine connection coming in, a spiritual union I'm looking at both of their heads being together. It's like you and this person are going to be one. You're going to connect on a very deep level, on a soul level. I feel like with this temptation, there's going to be a lot of passion in this new relationship. But Spirit says first you have to put away the past for some of you. You have to let go. You have to release. So this could be you holding on to someone from your past, whether it's physically, um, if this person is still in your life, or whether this is energetically. You haven't released them out of your mind. You keep having thoughts about them or out of your emotions. You're still holding on to them. You're still holding on to hope that you and this person will get back together. But there's a need for you to release. To let go of someone. For others of you, this is a current relationship that you're still connected to. And Spirit keeps saying, you asked for this, Aries. You asked for this. You called in this tower moment. Because you were tired or you are tired of going through the same thing with this person. I heard back and forth. So for some of you, this is a very in and out connection. This isn't a stable relationship. And I feel like you're tired. Like I'm looking at this conflict and despair. You are tired. You are tired of going through the same thing. It's like, look at how he's running away. It's like you're running away, but it looks like, you know, he doesn't have any strength to run. He's barely holding on. And it's like, you're so tired. You're barely holding on to this relationship. With this heartache and loss, it's like, yes, it's going to be difficult for you to let this person go because of the history. For some of you, you have a child or children with this person, but you know that you have to release. You know that you have to let this tower moment happen if you want to be happy. If you want to have a stable relationship. A real love. Mary J. Blige song. Real love just came to me. So yes, if you want a real love, Aries, you have to let go of the fake love. So let's pull some more messages. Spirit, tell me more about spiritual union. I have 
have harmony and resolution. This is going to be a very peaceful relationship. You and this person are going to get along. I heard like perfect match. Um, I heard lovers and friends. So it's like you're not only going to be lovers. You're not only going to be, you know, boyfriend and girlfriend, husband and wife. You're also going to be friends. You're going to actually like each other. I feel like there's not going to be a lot of conflict in this relationship. It's going to be very balanced. I feel like this person is really going to listen to you. They're going to understand you on a very deep level. I see if there's any issues in this relationship, like they're going to want to resolve it. And it's going to be done in a very peaceful manner. This is not going to be a struggle love type of connection. This is going to be one where there's equal give and take, six of pentacles. This person um, is very mature and I heard masculine. <laughs> a very masculine energy. So this person does like to be very dominant. But Spirit says that's because they are so used to being a protector. Like this person really guard the ones that they love. For a temptation, I have yes. Blow a tree song just came to me. All you got to do is say yes. So when I say this relationship is going to be very passionate, yes. Yes, you are definitely going to enjoy the physical intimacy with this person. Yes, all you got to do is say yes, Aries. This person is going to make you say yes. <laughs> So it's like you're going to get the best of both worlds. You're going to get a soul companion, great communication, someone who supports you, and then someone who is also very passionate in the bedroom. Let's get a message for heartache and loss. Okay. I have manifestation. Spirit says you asked for this. You asked for this person to be out of your life you are tired of this person you are tired of going back and forth in this relationship you manifested this ending i heard current so for some of you you're in a relationship with this person currently and you are manifesting an ending you are manifesting a tower moment and it's like yes it's going to be difficult for you to go through but ultimately it's going to lead you to your ten of cups let's get a message for disruption I have sacred plan. That's all I have to say. Sacred plan. It's all a part of God's plan for your life. Yes. It doesn't get any realer than this, Aries. This is God's plan for you. This ending. This was divinely orchestrated or this will be divinely orchestrated. You are meant to walk away from this relationship. A tower moment needs to happen. Spirit says you call this in through your tears, your pain, the rejection, not knowing where the relationship is going to go. You called it in because you're tired. You want to be happy. I heard karmic. For some of you, you are connected to a karmic partner, someone who was brought to you, brought into your life. To teach you a lesson about yourself, about love, about relationships, about what you actually deserve. Because I heard settling. For some of you, you have an issue when it comes to settling. You settle in your relationships. And you deserve more. So this person came into your life to stir things up. To get you to recognize your own worth, your own value. And now that the lesson is learned, it's time for you to detach to free yourself from this relationship and again i heard children so yes someone has a child or children with this person let's get a message for conflict and defeat i have joy and contentment the opposite of conflict and defeat is joy and contentment yes spirit is saying that you may feel defeated 
right now or you may feel defeated when this connection ends but it's ultimately going to lead you to joy to happiness to your nine of cups you're going to be happy once you get out of this relationship i just see a change that is going to be taking place in you aries it's like finally you're going to be able to breathe a sigh of relief it's like you made it out you made it out of a toxic situation and it's like you're going to look back on this experience and realize how much you have learned, how much you have gained, and just how happy you are to be done with it. It's like you're going to finally be able to move on and not look back. So let's clarify. Spirit, give me a message for harmony and resolution. Okay, I have the chariot. This person is not coming to play any games, Aries. No, this person is serious. This is going to be someone who is serious about moving forward. This is not going to be, I heard long term. This is going to be a long term connection, life partner. This person um, knows what they want. Spirit says, for some of you, you're not going to date this person for a very long time. I see you moving in together. I see you getting engaged. I see marriage. I see children for some of you. Let's clarify, yes. the six of water the six of cups i'm just looking at the children some of you are going to be very fruitful in this relationship like be fruitful and multiply and you will multiply yes this relationship is definitely going to produce children offspring for manifestation i have the nine of earth and i have the ten of air so we have the ten of wands and the nine of pentacles you manifested this it's like once you release once you let go of this person of this relationship for some of you i'm also getting like this is a friendship this is the ending of a friendship but it's like once you release this burden, you're going to walk into a season of prosperity, a season of abundance. So it's like once you heal, once you get over this loss, once you set yourself free from this relationship, whether it's a romantic connection or a friendship, you are going to be happy. You are going to be fulfilled. You're finally going to be able to call in abundance because you are no longer going to be attached to something that is blocking your abundance. And again, Spirit says you call this in. You ask for this. Let's get a message for sacred plan. I have justice in the reverse. Yes, it, you weren't getting what you deserved out of this relationship, Aries. This person was not giving you what you deserved. They were not treating you fairly. I heard third party. Like for some of you, this person was seeing other people. Um, I also heard like talk to you. The way they would speak to you was very degrading. This person did not respect you and they did not respect this relationship. So it was just time for you to let go, to release. Let's get a message for joy and contentment. I have the eight of air, the eight of wands. Some of you, it's like you feel like you're never going to get to this place. You feel like you're never going to be happy. You feel like it's always going to be a struggle. Some of you feel like you're always, it's always going to be a struggle. Like you feel like you're stuck feel like you're stuck in a situation and you don't know how to get out and that's why we have this tower moment coming 
because you feel like there's nothing else that you can do. You feel like there's nowhere else you can go. You feel like you're going to be stuck with this person forever. But spirit is coming to cause a tower moment. Spirit is coming to save the day so that you can finally walk away and no longer feel stuck. And you can walk into a divine connection. So let's pull some more messages. Okay. I have the seven of pentacles in the reverse. I have the Eight of Swords in the reverse. I have the Hangman in the reverse and let's get one more. I have the Six of Cups in the reverse. So I feel like with this Seven of Pentacles, it's like once you stop giving to this situation, once you stop investing in this relationship, once this tower moment happens, it's like you're finally going to feel free. You're no longer going to feel stuck. You're no longer going to feel confused about this situation. You're going to see things clearly. You're going to develop a lot of clarity. And it's like with the hangman in the reverse, it's like you're finally going to be able to take action. No longer are you just going to be sitting there stuck thinking about, you know, what your next move is, how you're going to get out, how you're going to free yourself. Are things ever going to change? Is this person ever going to treat you right? It's like, no, you're going to be done. You're finally going to release yourself from this connection. You're finally going to set yourself free from the past for some of you. You've been with this person for a long time. I heard years for some. And it's like you're finally going to be free. No longer will you be a prisoner of this connection. You're finally going to be happy. You're no longer going to be waiting around for this person to change. You're going to accept the relationship, this person for what it is. And you're going to be able to move on and have the life that you deserve. So let's pull some final messages. Okay. I have Kat, a two-faced friend. So yes, there are some of you who are releasing a friend. I heard like talk behind your back. So yes, this person does talk behind your back to others. They are not genuine. I have October. So for some of you, you will be experiencing some changes in October. I get pregnancy. So for some of you, you may be finding out that you're pregnant in October or you may be giving birth in October. I also have July. I feel like with July, some of you may be meeting this new person in the month of July. That is what I'm getting. I'm, I'm looking... At this picture and I'm getting like this new person is going to be coming in in the month of July for some of you. You're going to be meeting this new person. I heard friends so like you and this person may start off as friends. I have Tiger doing something risky taking a chance. So yes. I heard like release fear. I feel like some of you may be trying something new. Or maybe venturing into the unknown. I heard like a bucket list. So some of you may have created a bucket list. And you're going to be. You're going to start actually. Doing what's on your bucket list. I just see you living every day. Like it's the last. Like seizing every moment Aries. Taking advantage of every opportunity. That life has for you. I'm also getting like for the month of October. Some of you may be starting a new job. Or you may be offered a new job. I also heard moving. You may also be moving in the month of October. I heard like to another state. I also heard apartment. So for some of you, you may just be moving into a new apartment in the month of October. The last message I have is moon changes in your life. So yes, you will be undergoing changes in your life, Aries. Especially when it comes to your relationships. 
You will be closing out a cycle and entering a new phase, a more fulfilling phase. For some of you, this has to do with a romantic connection. For others of you, this has to do with a friendship. You letting go, releasing toxic people, releasing people that don't mean you any good and inviting in true soul connections. And I just keep looking at this card. Whoever is coming in, like this person is like off the chain in the bedroom. I'm just going to say it like this person. I heard like a freak like this person. Yes. Yes, they like to try different things, Aries. So, yes, you would definitely be pleasantly surprised. So, Aries, these are your messages. I hope they resonate. Remember to stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Everyone stay blessed.